Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we are going to explore about nanobiotechnology, its scope, along with the career prospect and the best research institute and university options in India and abroad. So let's get started. To begin with, let's first understand what is nanobiotechnology. It is the application of nanotechnology principles and technique to the field of biology and biotechnology. It involves manipulating and studying biological system at the nanoscale level, which is on order of 1 to 100 nanometer. This field combines aspects of nanotechnology, biology, chemistry, physics, engineering to develop and innovate solution for various biological and medical challenges. So here are a few significant application of nanobiotechnology. The number one is drug delivery system. Nanoparticles can be engineered to deliver drug to specific target in the body, improving drug efficacy and reducing side effects. The another area is tissue engineering. Nanomaterials can be used to construct scaffolds for tissue regeneration and for promoting the cell growth. The another very significant sector is the utilization of nanobiotechnology is in the area of biosensor. Nanoscale sensor can detect and analyze biological molecules with high sensitivity and selectivity, enabling early disease diagnosis. Moreover, nanobiotech plays significant role in cancer diagnosis and treatment. Nanoparticle can be designed to selectively target cancer cells, aiding in early detection and delivering the therapeutic agent. The another area is gene therapy. Nanoparticle can deliver genetic material to cells, allowing for targeted gene therapy treatment. Adding on the list, the another area is diagnostic imaging. Nanotechnology-based contrast agent enhances the imaging techniques such as MRI, CT scan, and optical imaging. The another area is biometric materials. Nanotechnology can create materials with property inspired by nature such as self-cleaning surfaces and super strong fibers. Moreover, it also has significant role in environmental applications. Nanomaterials can be used for water purification, air filtration and environmental monitoring. The another area is agriculture and food technology. Nanobiotechnology can enhance crop growth improve food safety and develop new methods for food preservation. Lastly, it can also be utilized in neuroengineering. Nanoscales tools and devices can be used to study and manipulate the nervous system for application in neurobiology and neurosciences. With the advent of technology, you can see its impact in nanobiotechnology areas also. So here are the current trends what is happening in nanobiotechnology area. Here are the five trending area in nanobiotechnology. The number one is nanomedicine, which has great impact in the advancement of targeted drug delivery system, nanosensor and imaging techniques for personalized medicine. The another significant area is nanomaterial and nano devices. Development of new nanoscale material and devices with enhanced properties for various applications. The another area is synthetic biology, integration of nanotechnology and biology to design and create novel biological system with personalized functionality. Along with these, it has great impact in the nano-bio interfaces, studying and engineering the interface between nanomaterial and biological system to improve the biocompatibility and performance. And the fifth one is the bio-inspired nanotechnology, drawing inspiration from the biological system to design new nanoscale structures and material with unique properties to enter and upskill in the field of nanotechnology, here are the suggested roadmap. The number one is the foundation education in the nanobiology and nanosciences. Pursue a bachelor degree in the relevance fields such as nanotechnology, biotechnology, biology, chemistry or engineering. Do the specialization. Either consider master or doctor program with the focus on nanobiotechnology or related discipline. You can also do research and internship. Try to engage in research project and internship to gain hands-on experience in nanobiotechnology and build a strong academic and research profile based on that. We also provide training in nanoinformatics and nanobiotechnology. If you are interested in doing those trainings and research projects, you can contact us as well. The another way is by doing the skill development. Acquire the skills in the area such as nanofabrication, biomolecular engineering, microscopy, data analysis, and interdisciplinary collaboration. 
you can also take the advantage of networking connect with the professional researcher organization working in nanobiotechnology through the conferences seminar and online platform it is also important to stay updated continuously follow the scientific literature journal and reputable website to stay updated with the latest advancement and the trends you can also join relevant societies and association related to nanotechnology and nanobiotechnology to assess the resources conferences and network opportunity regarding the best global research institution and university offering nanobiotechnology based courses and research opportunities here are the 10 notable options please have a look for the best indian research institute and university offering nanobiotechnology here are the notable option in india please have a look as by now you got this idea that the field of nanobiotechnology is offering exciting career prospect across various sector so here are some potential career path and job opportunity you can either become a research scientist you can conduct research in nanobiotechnology and contribute to the advancement in drug delivery system biomaterial diagnostic and tissue engineering you can work in either academia institute r and d or private companies you can also become a biomedical engineer by applying the nanotechnology principle to design and develop medical devices implant diagnostic tool you can work either in hospital or medical devices company or research institution you can also become a nano material engineer by developing and optimizing nano material for specific applications such as drug delivery biosensor energy storage work in research and development department of the industry focusing on nanotechnology you can also join as a pharmaceutical scientist work on the development and formulation of nano medicine including drug delivery system and targeted therapy employment can be found in the pharmaceutical companies or research institution along with these you can also try to become a regulatory or affairs specialist by ensuring the compliance with the regulations and safety guideline for nanobiotechnology product work in government agencies regulatory bodies or companies developing nanotechnology based product you can also become a quality control or quality assurance specialist to evaluate and ensure the quality and safety of nanobiotechnology product hence you can be easily employed by the companies in healthcare biotechnology or pharmaceutical sector along with these you can also join as intellectual property specialist by focusing on the intellectual property management patenting and licensing of nanobiotechnology invention you can either work in the law firms or as a technology transfer officer or in the research institution you can either become a entrepreneur or you can start a startup establish your own nanobiotechnology company to develop innovative product and solution adding on the list you can also become academic professor or faculty if you have passion for teaching then you can also educate and mentor future generation of nanobiotechnology professional in universities or college and finally you can also become a scientific writer and communicator communicate the complex scientific concept to a broader audience through the technical writing journalism or science outreach program in the areas of nanobiotechnology i hope you have liked the session don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor thank you